All right, now that you've sort of mastered the box jump and squatting and pivoting, now we've got to try and put that into action on the floor. All right, so you're still staying at two legs, but this is um, in the last stage, so this is around 20 to 24 weeks is when you want to start doing this. And this just gets a little bit harder because it involves a lot of change direction. Now, it's a little bit different to the single leg change direction because that's a lot more single leg loading, okay? But it's still pretty taxing. So what I want you doing is you're gonna change direction on the floor and keep going. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna aim for a 45 degree angle, I'm gonna then land in a 90 degree, okay? So similar to the box, but then I'm just gonna jump and keep going like a zigzag. So what I mean is, if I'm here, knees are wide, I go into my squat, okay, I'm gonna jump. I'm not gonna land here, I want to land like that, okay? And I wanna land, so I'm going straight ahead, but I'm gonna land 90 degrees. So I'm gonna jump here and land 90 degrees, ready to go again this way, okay? So what I don't want to do is pivot around and land that way like that, okay? I want to aim right in front of me and pivot 90 degrees. So I'm going to go there, land, land, okay, land. And this way you've got some time to work on your control. I'm trying to keep both legs landing together like that, okay? Whew, pretty taxing. Okay, so that's your on the floor landing on two legs. Then you've got to shift to single leg. So, come over here. The single leg work is trying to do a side step and then a change direction. Now, I would start doing this in conjunction with box jumping on single leg, which we'll come to in a minute. But the change direction on the floor ties in nicely to your change direction on two feet. So I'm gonna run up there, you Jules, you watch me. So if I imagine I've got a line going up a track, now you can do this on a run, or you can do this just in the gym like this. Um, I'm gonna do every third step, I wanna step sideways. And I wanna make sure when I step sideways, if you watch me, when I step, I wanna step with my foot facing forward, not facing outwards. It's a very common mistake for you to sidestep and step in the same direction you're going, okay? Because if I want to turn that way, guess what? I'm gonna to have to rotate through there, which is not gonna be nice. I'm gonna to have to pivot, and I'm probably not gonna get around enough in time. So when you sidestep, for this sort of scenario, is you land foot facing forward, okay? Knee over foot. And then when I pivot off, all I have to do is do a little pivot that way, okay? Remembering not to pivot when I'm on the floor, but I, when I push off, I, all I have to do is a little 45 degree turn on that right leg. Whereas if I landed that way, I have to do a full 90 degrees and I'm probably not gonna get round there. So, what you do is you aim all the way up. I'll go up on my right leg and then come back on my left. So aim for about sort of 10 going up on your right, 10 coming back on your left. So every three, it's a step landing on your toes. See that? So landing, knee facing forward, okay? So I pivot off and back to here, all right? So that's your side step 